Hello everyone, Roman's Grand Determent event has begun, or rather, that's kind of what it's supposed to be. Um, this event is a little bit funny, so they made this event to sort of kick off the Roman Tournament in JP. If you haven't looked at it yet, basically it is, uh, here we have here, the Lantana Founding Anniversary Cup. Uh, the story goes over this tournament they're holding. I think they did change the dialogue a little bit for the Gola version, but basically this event was made to introduce the Roman tournament on JP, right? So we've already gone through all seven weeks of Roman tournament on Global before this event started, but on JP, Roman tournament started with this event. So uh, if it doesn't make sense, that's kind of why this event was made to introduce Roman tournament. It's also made as an event for the 27th anniversary of the Atelier series. Uh, that's why Mari is the banner character here. Atelier Mari was the first Atelier game released back in May of 1997. So yeah, pretty cool event for that. Um, but it is a short event once again with one single story chapter. This is just going to be how it is basically until summer. And then once summer begins, uh, you know, we'll get actually fully fleshed out events again and then into first anniversary and whatever. But yeah, it'll be a couple mo more months of events sort of like this, so it is what it is. They're basically taking a little bit of a rest period in between Academy and Summer and whatever, uh, but we're still getting content, I guess, so that's kind of cool. Anyways, let's uh, just go ahead and dive right into the banner. And for this banner, um, if you watched my other video on upcoming banners, I did say before that this banner I do recommend skipping. Uh, you can use tickets here if you want. It's not completely terrible, but for a couple of reasons that I'll get into. But overall, it is one of the skip worthy banners. Um, and we're going to be seeing those for a little while until the bride banner in the future. But this banner is, yeah, it's just okay. Uh, but yeah, let's look at it real quick. So, first up, the Memoria. Uh, we do have this Memoria, which is an 11% speed Memoria designed for attackers, where it gives attackers 96% uh, received effect from boost panels. That's, of course, it can lead to very high damage, but, and it's nice, it's like a high speed Memoria, but it's like, it's really niche, it's not that useful, it's not anything that you would ever go out of your way to use memory crystals on, so this Memoria is a skip. And then for the other Memoria, we have the Bolt Critical Damage Memoria. And what I'm going to say here, if you haven't been paying attention to the meta on JP, might shock you. Because obviously the Strike Critical Damage Memoria has been best in slot for Rosevile. This one obviously seems like it would be super, super strong for Izana. And of course it is. However, don't get too excited for this. This Memoria, it's not bad, but I don't recommend pulling for it. And that is because it gets heavily power crept. So on the JP server right now, starting with Summer, we get this Memoria. And this Memoria is 100% crit damage. Um, so this one's only 85%. And it's for attackers in general. It doesn't have an attribute requirement. So this Memoria is super nice when it comes out with the Summer banners. It's in the final Summer banner. And basically you can put your crystals here and it'll work for every attacker in your box. It also has a bit of a different stat spread. It is a magic attack memoria that has 36% magic attack as opposed to this one's 31. And it has slower speed, which is actually an upside in the current meta on JP for a Roman tournament. So I don't recommend going all in on this memoria at all. It's not worth putting crystals on. It's not worth spending gems on. There's a much better alternative in the future that's much more worth it for most players. So, you know, if you do go for this Memoria to make a super strong Izana um, in the time between this one and the summer one, do so at your own discretion, right? Uh, I, yeah, basically I just have to warn you, specifically when it comes to Memoria, um, Memoria power creep, because memory crystal rate is so slow and Memoria are so costly to obtain, it's really good to have an idea of what's coming in the future. And Memoria have finally been power crept a little bit on JP, so this is kind of, it, it's a skip, right? This is ignorable. If it wasn't power crept, it would be really, really, really strong, but as it is, you would rather put your resources towards the other one that's even better, so. 
it is what it is. And now we'll look at Mari a little bit. Um, now, before I talk about her kit, we're going to talk about her gift. And what she has is skill power up with red green. So she, you know, if you have the classic like winter tow tree into Christmas for us in the setup, you don't necessarily need Mari because currently all the good mats end in are red or purple, right? Um, she's not really needed because there's no like good green mats to make for skill power. However, she is part of one of the meta synth combos on JP as of like a few days ago. Uh, basically, we have a new blue mat on JP that is skill power damage buffet. And for specific characters that aren't burst focused, like the completely broken new Resna, this ends up being a better end mat than anything else we have in the game. So because Mari, because Corneria is the only character that ends in blue, and Mari is the only character that links to Corny, Mari does end up becoming a meta synthesis unit in the future. So that's pretty cool. So if you do get her, she does have that use. Recommend getting stars on her. By the time that happens, you have a few months. Um, she's not you know, meta right now for Synthesis on Global. We don't have the material yet. We don't have the character where the material is good for, but she does end up becoming a very good synth unit on JP. And now we can sort of talk about her kit a little bit. So her leader skill, boost promise and teamwork characters attacked by 35%. This is a pretty good leader skill. Promise and teamwork is one of the story tags. So a lot of story characters get shoved into this group, which means there's a lot of good attackers. This is one that has Izana and Resna. So if you do use Mari on a Bolt team with Izana, she is going to be giving Izana a decent amount of magic attack. Although Izana, of course, already has a good leader skill for herself anyways. Um, but there's a lot of good attackers in here. All right, and Mari is a Bolt attacker herself. Uh, but she's a little bit of a weird Bolt attacker in that she is a attacker supporter attacker, kind of. And I'll get into what I mean. Um, basically, her kit is kind of based entirely around dealing damage and then supporting a better damage dealer. It's a little weird, and for that reason she ends up not being very good. Uh, as anyone who has used Bolt Claudia might be aware, any supporter that does damage is kind of just weaker than supporters that don't do damage. And of course Mari's an attacker, she can do damage herself, but her kit's a little dysfunctional. Um, so we have her skill 2. After attacking, boost all attackers' critical rate by 20%, max 100%, and boost all attackers' critical damage by 10%, max 50%. Uh, this is very similar to Bolt Resna, except it does, you know, damage to a single target, and it gives a little bit of a critical damage buff as well. However, I don't really like this design in Modern Wrestlery. Bolt Resna has fallen out of favor in the meta. I haven't used her in a long time personally. She's still usable, but her ramp is kind of just too slow in a lot of ways, and this ramp for crit rate is even slower. You can get buffet on her to get this uh, crit damage buff up, but it would still take two turns. So she's a little bit slow. I would like her a lot more um, as a supporter attacker if the values of these buffs were significantly higher. But if you're still using Bolt Resna, Mari is a little bit of an upgrade over her just in terms of like skill two. Um, like she's not she's not terrible she's just not like super amazing right but yeah that's basically what she does um it's it's neat her skill one gives herself a critical damage buff for one turn and this is actually a really hefty buff if you have buffet on her because it's a 40 percent baseline so it's like not bad and then her burst is the part of her kit that's interesting it's an area burst, so it hits everything, and it boosts uh, critical damage for itself by 50%. And then when this burst crits, it converts the next pa the next panel, uh, your next allied panel, into a burst panel. So what they're kind of going for with this, right, is basically you can use Mari's burst um, to wipe all of the trash mobs and then create a burst panel on an attacker right after, say like Izana or something, and single target burst down the boss, right? That's kind of the combo intent here. In practice, it's not super, super great. It does require that it crits, and because 
this is only a 20% crit rate buff, you probably need some other form of crit support if you're trying to do this on like the second round. There's, and it's just kind of awkward. Usually you're better off um, getting the natural burst on your attacker, your other attacker, and just using an actual supporter. It's just, but she is absolutely usable. She's pretty fun. She is just not super good. Um, she's not particularly meta, but she's definitely usable. And she has some weird passives. Um, she gives herself received damage buff effect up. I would like this more if this was a boost potency of received or of given buffs or whatever, because she's in the like, supporter niche. This only works for herself, so it's a little bit weird. And also, 20% is not that much when buffet is 150%, so it's like, eh. And then she also has boost panel effect, which it's a nice little bonus occasionally, but you're not often getting boost panels on her, especially if you're using her like burst combo. So she is an interesting character. I like what they did with her kit. I like the design of her, although I wish that she, I think she's a little bit underpowered. I think her kit could unironically work in a lot of situations if her numbers were just a bit better. Um, like if this was 50% and 25%, right? Like if this ramped in two turns, I think she would be a very solid addition to a lot of teams, um, but as it is, these numbers are just too low. And really, the burst combo, while sounding cool uh, in theory, doesn't work out too often in practice. So she's neat, but she's not great. Uh, yeah, that's basically about it for Mari. So, anyways. Uh, yeah, we can just uh, go to the recipes now, which there's some good recipes here, and then we'll get to the pulls. So, event. Alright, got all the recipes. First up, we have the, um, the set of items made for Mari. These are all bolt attacker items, which means they're generally good on Izana. First up, we have the wooden staff. While well, equipped to an attacker with bolt affinity, boost skill damage by 19% when attack target is stunned. This is just going to be worse than the book from Tower. I don't recommend making this ever. Um, but then we have the armor. While well, equipped to an attacker with bolt affinity, boost critical damage by 24%. This item is actually quite good, and in certain situations can even be stronger than silver thread armor. However, I don't really recommend making it over silver thread armor because they're very comparable most of the time and silver thread armor is generic so it's a better item to dump your resources on into because it can be used for anyone um in the original bolt tournament run on jp there were actually some high-end strategies where this was optimal damage wise um so it's a good item and you can absolutely make it for izana or mari or anyone um it's just, I don't think it's worth making over Silver Thread Armor. It's, you know, it it's fine, right? It's fine. Um, and we have the Celestial Talisman. And this is a 12 speed attacker recipe, uh, 12 speed attacker accessory, which is kind of cool, but also too fast a lot of the time. It just depends. It does help Izana go earlier, say for just like random auto stuff, get out of enemies and stuff. So that's nice. Uh, while equipped to an attacker with Bolt Affinity after attacking, it makes the target take more magic attack damage. They don't even say the value here, uh, which is weird. I might report that su to support. I have reported things before and they have fixed them. So yeah, it's weird that it doesn't say the value here. It should. Um, I want to say it was like a decently high number, like 8% or something. In fact, let's go on to Barrel Wisdom and find out. Why don't we? And I just have the site translated for all of you. Um, where is it? Surely I won't miss it. I totally missed it somewhere, didn't I? Oh, there it is. Yeah, so it's 8% as SSR. 8% uh, magic damage received. And it lasts for two turns. It's a pretty solid accessory. The main problem with it is it requires attacking first. So it's very good on like Mari as, you know, as she is like an attacker supporter to lead into your next attacker. It's really good on her. 
Um, for like one turn sweep teams, obviously it's not giving any damage boost on the first turn, so it's a little awkward, but it is a solid accessory. Um, it's just a little situational. Then we have the Steel Sword. This doesn't really matter. <laughs> Boosts stun damage by 8%, generic stun damage, and reduces magic attack by 5%. Uh, yeah. There's not really too many reasons to ever make this, so... Not very good. The Silver Armor. 35% poison resistance. Uh, poison just is not super common. And it's not really one of the deadlier ailments, so like paralysis, so poison resistance isn't super coveted, but if you're really having trouble with poison stuff, it's always nice to have the options of gearing into resistance, so I'm glad this is in the game, even if it's never really that used. Then we have the sun necklace, and this is the most important accessory of the event. The sun necklace, after using a burst skill, restores the item gauge by 10%. Now, this one, obviously, anything that restores item gauge is automatically, like, there are situations where that can be useful. Um, especially in tournament, for getting items back faster between bursts or for double stacking items, it can be useful. Now, there are a couple of problems with this item. One, the speed is a little low. Uh, a lot of, like, supporter types are going to want 12 speed nowadays. And also, uh, it does require using a burst skill, but if the timeline needs it, this item is absolutely invaluable, right? So it just depends on the specific strategy whether or not this item is good. It's not going to be good all the time, it's not even necessarily going to be used that often, but when you do need this effect, you need this effect, and it's really strong. Um, you can't really say in advance like what the best trait combo is on it because it entirely depends on the strategy that needs it. Obviously this can go on an attacker, on a supporter, on a breaker, on a defender. Um, it's pretty safe to make like damage ver versions or buffet versions or whatever. It just, it just really depends, right? But it is a good item. Unfortunately, I haven't really seen it used too much recently. I don't believe it's been used in the top strategies for any of the recent Roman tournaments on JP, but that's probably mostly because Saskia is kind of broken and not because uh, this item is bad. So, but yeah, it's a cool item. It's just kind of niche. Uh, it's not, it's mostly for tournament and not really general teams. So, but yeah, it's good to know it exists and if it would ever help you win in like tower or something like, it's a cool item to keep in mind. So yeah, that is all the recipes. Let's just get to the polls and hopefully get something good. I did personally buy tickets for this banner. Um, I haven't done ticket polls in a while. I wanted to do them, so we got tickets. I do recommend overall... Oh wow, we got double winks on the free poll. I do recommend kind of uh, saving your gems through this one though and not getting tickets. Because while synth value is good, um, Mari is just not, Mari and the Memoria, like, they're just not super, super worthwhile otherwise, so. Unfortunately, that's just how this banner is. But, oh wow, that was a super late fake out. I think that was a three star uh, fake out, though. Not, oh, never mind, that looks like pickup. <laughs> but that meteor shower, that's definitely a pickup. Is it Lanza or Tetri? Nice! That's pretty cool. Uh, she's not very good, but that's pretty cool. Her guns are so cool. Oh my god, her sword. I don't have her on JP, so I've never really seen her burst. Yeah, love Tori. She's so cute. Alright, very nice. That was a super, super late fake out. You very rarely see those. Although I feel like when I get pickups, I get fake outs like half the time. But not necessarily that late. They're usually a little bit earlier. Alright, and free pull for the Mari banner. Alright, this is probably nothing. We'll just go skip the free pull and get to the tickets.
But yeah, I did buy the tickets mostly just because I would like to have her for the skill power gift. Um, and I don't have her on JP, so playing with her might be fun. Alright, I'm looking like a lot of nothing here. I don't think this one's likely to be a fake out again. But we'll see. Oh my god. Are you serious? Okay, it's not the full meteor shower fake out though, but it is some sort of three star probably. With the uh, swirlies at the end. Who's it gonna be? Oh, that's Ryza. That's face Ryza. I definitely needed another, uh... Oh, wait, no. That's Flash Ryza. Oh, sick. Alright. Never mind. That's awesome. Very cool. Uh, this account did not have her, so... Very happy about that. And we go again. Oh, we got the one wink again. Now, will there be anything with this poll? We've already gotten like more than enough luck today. I don't need anything. But I won't say no either. Come on. Resna, you can do it. Oh crap, I skipped. Heck. I was patting Resna's head and then I clicked. Yeah, probably nothing in here. Alright, very cool. Good pulls. Happy about that. Anyways, I wish you all luck on your pulls. I hope they go well. And I will see you all later today for the live stream of Atelier Yumiya. If you want to come watch that, we're going to they're going to uh, announce more about the new Atelier game. I'll have a video on that tomorrow, but I'm also going to stream my reaction to it. So that'll be in about, I think it was like eight-ish hours from now. So if you're looking forward to the new Atelier game, uh, you know, stay tuned for that video or come watch the live stream and hang out. Either way, wish you all good luck with your polls and have a good one. See you next time. Bye bye.